Hello everybody, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. Today I'll be showing you how to root and install a custom recovery on the latest version of the stock ROM for the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S7. It's quite a simple process if you follow all the steps in the correct order and you don't miss any. So we'll start off by going into settings and into developer options. If developer options is not displayed, you have to click on the build number seven times in a row. So, as I said, enter developer options, tick this box, OEM unlock and USB debugging. Now you have to restart the device into download mode so for that just turn it off first and now press the volume down button the home button and the power button simultaneously this screen should appear here just click volume up you can see that the warranty void Trigger NOX is still zero. You see all the details here. So the initial details before the roots and the custom recovery installation. Now, what we have to do is open Odin. Here I have it. Run it as administrator. And very important, make sure you have the latest Samsung USB drivers installed. I will place all the necessary links in the description below. In the AP slot, you should place this. TWRP tar file make sure it's the latest version disable auto reboot and connect the phone as you normally would it has appeared here COM3 now check once again that the auto reboot is not ticked and press start The process was successful, now comes the only, let's say, tricky part. So to restart it, hold down the volume down, home and power buttons, and then immediately swap to volume up when the screen goes blank. So you can boot directly into the custom recovery. Great. So this is the latest current version of TeamWin. Now you have a choice, so it depends on what you want to do. By swiping right you will trigger DM Verity and unless you follow this next step you will be unable to boot. So if you are going to root your device, as a next step it's safe to swipe right and enable these modifications. Now go to wipe. format data and then type in yes and it will format just like this back back and back now reboot into recovery Now click on install and you can finally flash the latest Super SU version. The latest one is also the most stable and it's recommended for this process. Here is my version. Okay. 
this is here a small warning so do not worry if it loops a couple of times or if it takes a couple more minutes it's totally normal now click on reboot system and simply wait for the phone to boot up so now it will take approximately 5 minutes for the whole boot process to complete now it has booted up yeah, you have a fully functional device now now you can also try to disable Nox we can do this now or not theoretically it should take like 5 minutes in total be aware that if you do this you won't be able to use S Health and Samsung Pay that easy there are workarounds but it's a bit more difficult than uh, with a stock ROM what's good is of course now you can uh, install Adaway and make sure you get no more ads maybe Greenify and of course you can very simply download Titanium Backup and uninstall the unwanted system apps. I'll probably install a custom ROM and I'll make a tutorial on that too and maybe a review after I use it as a daily driver for a week or so. This was basically the process of routing and installing a custom recovery on the device. Just make sure you have the latest Samsung drivers installed on your PC, otherwise you'll get some connection errors. Then download all the necessary files, tar format, recovery, and the latest Super SU. And finally, just go through the whole process like I did and you will surely install it successfully. One last thing, you may see that now we have a notification here security notice which says unauthorized actions have been detected restart your device to undo any unauthorized changes do not click on this bar here you simply have to disable the notification from the notification settings and this will solve the problem forever I'd like to thank you for watching this video please make sure to like it and to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar videos in the future. This was Mike the Tech Savvy, until next time.